What's up everybody? Michael Silvey here with special guest Coco. Today we are doing technical analysis update on the S&P 500. Today is Tuesday, May 12th, also known on Wall Street as Turnaround Tuesday. And it just so happens to be a turnaround kind of day. The bears are celebrating. The Coco Bear. Woo! But is it a time for the bears to start celebrating? Or are we just headed to this trend line to head higher? That's what we're going to talk about in today's technical analysis update of the S&P 500. Let's get into it. In order to really get a good picture of what is going on today or what has happened already today, let's go ahead and hop into the 30 minute time frame. Okay, so first thing is first, I want to go ahead and just reiterate this trend line. This is something that I've drawn out on previous videos. It just seems like a very interesting area where the price kind of came down and acted as support and then it came down again to test it as support, support, and then now it's looking like it might be coming back to test it as well. It is sitting right around this pink line. That is the 200 period moving average. More interestingly of what happened today, I wanna to pull up what we talked about on the previous video, the different support areas. And this is why support and resistance is so important. So I drew out this line just the other day. And so this candle right here was the start of today. This is yesterday, okay? So we closed right here at this area. And basically what this says is it's kind of uncertain if the price is gonna be closing lower or if it's going to be opening up higher because it was sitting at the support level. There was really no confirmation. I just knew that this area where it closed at was very interesting because it was on support that was pretty profound area of support, I'd say, because of this previous day where it came and got rejected. And then here it broke through, retested it, and then came back. And then once again, it's here. So what happened today? Well, what happened was we had a gap up and then it started pushing the price higher as you can see the the wick on this candle now this in this area right here is obviously a lot of resistance and the resistance that you're running into here is the 61 percent retracement level on the fibonacci also you have the i believe the um the 200 ema i think it was the 200 ema I believe it's the 200 EMA that was up here in this in this range too. So you have that working against it. You also have the, the Fibonacci retracement level. And then at the 3000 level, which isn't too far ahead of this, you have the 200 day period moving average really just floating around that range too on the daily time frame. So what happened? Okay, once it came up here and the price got rejected, so there's a lot of bears, a big bear wall up here. They don't wanna, they don't wanna let them into their castle. So they knocked them down. And it did finally break through to get lower and then retested it because once support is broken, it then becomes resistance. So it came up, tried to break through, tried to break through and it acted as resistance, went sideways. And then boom, you see a big bear pull fall. Now, another interesting thing that I want to point out was the other level of support that I talked about. That was right here. Now, the reason why this was interesting area of support to me yesterday was because if you look back it struggled through this area and when it did break out it retested over here and then re er, sorry it broke through retested so this was obviously a clear area of support now in the first 30 minutes of the day you can see the wick came right down to here so it basically tested that support and then came up and then finally broke down through right over here so those to both those levels that broke were very very key levels for um, a reversal to start taking place. And as you can see throughout the rest of the day, boom, this area right here was a next, next really, I'm sorry, not right there. I'd say, I'd say right about here would be the next really big area that was broken down. So clearly it was support here. It was support here. It was support through here. So you have a bear flag that kind of formed. Yeah, right. The pole that came down and then you have the sideways movement right there. And then boom, a flush to the downside. And then another key level that broke was right here, this gap that closed. So this is just overall a very, very, very bearish turnaround type of day. Now, I was thinking it might take a few days to reach this trend line to test it. And that's why we're gonna be hopping into the daily here. But just know that 
This that was once support here got broken. This got broken, now is resistance. So that's resistance, this is resistance, that's now resistance. And now this area right here too is also resistance. You see this big window right here that it closed and closed below it. And now we're sitting at the 200 period moving average. It's gonna be interesting to see where it opens up tomorrow. But typically what you might see is a retest and then move back further lower. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the daily to see what is taking place, where we might see the price go. Okay, so we're here at the daily. I'm gonna go ahead and draw out the Fibonacci levels just so you get a good idea of what we were kind of talking about when I say the 61% level. This black line right here where my cursor is at, that's the 61% retracement level. And if you follow my videos, you notice that I, you, you heard me say plenty of times that I think that's gonna probably be going within this channel for a little bit longer. However, what I, am considering that might be happening if we are starting to see the shift to the downside, which Goldman Sachs did come out recently and say that their their viewish term now is turning bearish. And there's a couple other articles coming out and saying the same thing, but those are more fundamentals. Um, so let's just try to stick to the technicals today. But overall, like I was previously saying, it goes up, pulls back up, pulls back up, pulls back up. And now we are seeing the pullback take place. However, it like I said, this is a nice big reversal candle, but it's still above this trend line. So this trend line is the next kind of important level in my eyes. Um, it's not quite a head and shoulders pattern. I mean, you can argue definitely that this is a head and shoulders. You can, but it's just this right shoulder is about the same height of the head. Not quite but it is almost there. So what can we see that's gonna potentially take place? I wanna see if the trend line, trend line breaks down or if it just is testing it and then it's gonna start heading up higher. Now, another key thing to point out on this reversal, this reversal candle here, notice how these points, this right here was um, a high and then it made a higher high and then it made a higher high, but now it just made a lower high and then this big reversal candle. So it made a lower high, it's almost flat. So, I mean, you can argue that, no, it's not really you know, lower, it's the same, but it is technically, it technically is lower by a few dollars. So it did make a lower high and is heading lower. Now, if it makes a lower low, so the price would have to come lower than this one, that is a clear indication that the price is reversing the price action, the, the, the flow, the, 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 the overall context of the chart is changing from bullish back down to bearish. And if you look at the lows, you get a lower, you got a low here and then you got a higher low, a higher low, a higher low, and still it is a higher low. So what can happen? Well, typically if a trend line like this is broken, you'll get a retest. And I think it would bounce off that 50 period moving average um, and then potentially retest at that point and then head back lower or we might see it break through back through the trend line and retest the 61% and potentially head higher. But time will tell. I will say this was a very, very powerful moving day today for a turnaround. It's just been very choppy. So intraday and mid afternoon trading has been very, very choppy. It's been throwing traders off. It's like it's been coiling up to do something crazy that everyone's waiting for. But this volatility is very, very good for traders. So keep that in mind if you're trading in the mornings, intraday, times like these, it's obviously, it's all new to us. So this kind of stuff has not happened before. And the only thing that we can manage when we're trading is our risk. That's the only thing that we have complete control of. And a lot of people have been commenting saying, you know, you just want it to go down. You just want to be right. So you keep saying the same thing. But the thing is, it doesn't matter whether you're right or wrong. When I first started out trading, I'd get nine out of 10 trades wrong, but I'd still be able to make profits. And the only reason I was able to do that is simply because I manage my risk. I can lose nine trades and have one good winning trade that makes up for all those losses. So manage your risk. That's the only thing that you can control. Don't try to control whether you're right or wrong in this kind of environment. Just be prepared for when things take place. With all that said, have a good night. See you guys back here tomorrow. 
Also, thank you to all the subscribers that have been kind of coming into my channel and leaving comments, likes. I really, really appreciate that. It's something that I want to really do and I want to bring value. I'm still trying to get used to all of this stuff, so I appreciate all your patience and uh, kind words and support. So thank you all and have a good day.